Well, thank you, uh, Chairman Taylor, Chairman Teller, and thanks everyone for being here today. I was thinking of, of this yesterday as I was um, doing some driving and I thought, my gosh, if anyone ever told me that I'd be a member of Pennsylvania's Transportation Committee, the House Committee, and that as a member, I would have had the opportunity to drive in an autonomous car, that I would have the opportunity to be part of public hearings and then watch sessions right outside of the LIDAR reading registration tags and having instantaneous results as to whether or not someone's registered or not, I'd have found it hard to believe. And yet here we are sitting here trying to discuss alternative fuel uses for our car. I mean, I'm one that right now needs a new car and one of the things I'm taking into consideration is what type of fuel source, you know, not just low mileage that I'll be looking for, and quite frankly, it's not too appealing to me to look for an electric car or a, a natural gas fueled vehicle because I don't need to be tethered to a 200 mile radius, okay? And I only drive about 20,000 miles a year. So it made me think about what about all our transportation infrastructure, those people driving our, our most precious products or people around but also products that are coming from the ports, going through all different parts of the Commonwealth to make it to other parts and uh, more central in the US. And I thought this is something that we really need to be doing to start to build this infrastructure. You know, we are a hub of some really cool technologies going on. I mentioned a few, but that's the purpose of this bill right now is to see what we can do to start to build a clean infrastructure uh, bring down emissions use, but also capitalize on some homegrown energy. So I appreciate all of you being here today, and I look forward to hearing the testimony and to moving forward as we help fuel Pennsylvania and her drivers in the future. Thank you.